Hey, that cat. You really do have the magic touch. Sir, I've seen it before somewhere. Hmm. The cat that was just here? Oh, yes, I know it. Poor wretched creature was all little Olivia had. You think it's waiting for her to come back? I hope not. Putting your faith in humans is a great way to guarantee disappointment. Hey, it's not like she wanted to leave him behind, asshole. All right, all right. I'm sorry I spoke. Hmm. The cat that was just here? Oh, yes, I know it. Poor wretched creature was all little Olivia had. Hey, children, come back. I haven't... I suppose you saw that. They just will not listen to me. Something tells me he gets that a lot. The children at Athia place no value on their education. None. The blame is not entirely theirs, of course. My teachings will not fill their bellies. Not today, at any rate. But if they do not learn to think of tomorrow, if they would only let me teach them, no, they will not hear a word of it. Can't really blame them. They've been through a lot. None save dear Olivia, that is. Poor child. She, at least, was kind enough to listen. Had I only been able to teach her to read, I am sure her love of learning would have blossomed. You mean they can't even read? Thought maybe you could, I don't know, start with some simple rhymes or something? Yes. What a fine idea. I could certainly do worse than try. Thank you. The gift of wisdom is a precious one indeed. I will experiment with the method you suggest. Now, if you will excuse me. Wandering the city, dispensing insights, hither and yon. I may have to revise my opinion of you, friend. I wasn't exactly trying to inspire the guy, but I'll take it. The next stage. You. What are you still doing in Sepal? You will not escape Tanta Sila's wrath, you know. Her enemies receive no quarter. None. Is she from Prenost? Seems rather keen on Sila. Hmm. Maybe she can tell us more about her. She is the Tanta of Strength. Blessed with the power to fortify both mind and body. That sounds tricky to deal with. And her gifts do not end there. She is a leader under whose unflinching discipline whole armies cower. Her mere presence on the battlefield is enough to strike terror into the hearts of her enemies. Okay, I get it. She's one stone cold badass bitch. You trespassed upon her realm. You are a threat, and as such, are not to be tolerated. Just because I walked over some imaginary line? Shit, should have brought a passport. 
There is no just when it comes to trespass on sacred ground, girl. Especially not when the ground in question belongs to one so powerful. It was your fault the city was attacked. Tanta Sila wished only to drive out the threat. And she clearly wasn't the only one. She was hard on others, but no harder than she was on herself. Beneath that stern exterior lies a warmer heart. Her desire to protect the people of Athia. This is what drives her. Protect? Is that what you call smashing shit up and killing people? What use is there in talking to one as corrupted as you? Sorry I asked. Why do I even care who she is or who she used to be? She killed Olivia. That's all that matters. As long as you remain, the city remains in danger. Tanta Sila may yet be forced to destroy us all. You must go to her and be punished for your crimes. Oh, I'll go to her all right. And when I find her, she's dead. Interested in these here books, are you? You've got a good eye. They're treasures of a sort, all rescued from the abandoned Cognizance guilds. Oh, cool. Hey, this one actually looks useful. It's about crafting. It certainly seems like it might be worth your while. I'd be happy to give it to you, for a price. I collect old things, see? Find some, and I might just be persuadable. What about this old coin? Well, now, isn't that a beauty? I'll need more than one of those, depending on the book, but here, have a look. Anything take your fancy? Nice doing business with you. Anything take your fancy? Nothing tickling your fancy, eh? Huh. Maybe next time then. Oi, you! Huh? You talking to me? Uh, oopsie, uh, she's a sharp one. What's that you got there, eh? What, this? I just found it lying around the town. Let me swap you something for it. I'll do you a good deal, I promise. Let's have a look, shall we?
Thank you very much. And here. Pleasure doing business with you. Autumn seemed worried. I wonder if Bob's okay. A cat. I have a strange feeling that cat wants us to follow it. Something. So this is where you were taking us. Is this for me? I'm so happy the crops weren't ruined. My dad said if we didn't have any grain, we'd all starve to death. I'm so happy the crops weren't ruined. Please, you've got to stop this at once. Sounds like trouble. Yo, what's going on here? The Robian's trying to desecrate a lovely old ballow tree. He's, uh, got himself a mic worked up. Blue, and the bloomers too! We tried to explain to him that he can't just run amok in the grove like this. That there is our last fellow. All right, just cut him some slack, okay? He's been living in the break for the past 20 years. He's just taking some time to adjust. He'll be back to himself soon. Mm. You keep telling yourself that. Father. Father. It's Odin. Odin. Body. I do go. I was supposed to see you there. I cannot see you there. I feel I am. It's all right. I will take you there, and we will be there together. Apologies. Be a good man, Sir Robian. Hand it over. Please, Father, give it to them. Please. <laughs> 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 Thank you. We'll take it from here. Just make sure that he doesn't. He won't. You have my word. Oh, Holden. I'm such a fool. You are no fool. I believe in you. I told them you wouldn't harm the tree, but I never said that I wouldn't. Now is our chance. Once again, breaking the law. I don't do it proudly. But 
All I do is for Athia. And if my father believes this could help, then I believe it too. Hey, Bob. Strange young girl from another world. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, have your notes on the portals. Um, the Tirana? Oh, my. He's much worse than I believed. Forgive me. My mind's a, a, a little wibbly wobbly, wobbly wibbly. Um, Boosh? Huh? Boosh? 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 <laughs> yes, Boosh. I need a Boosh back home. Where I came from. After I killed this crazy lady. If I survive. You will. I will go back home, or I will kill the crazy lady. One or the other. Maybe both. Maybe neither. Ugh. Who's to know? Sounds promising. Yes. Yes, yes, I promise. I will work on making you voice. You have my word. Mm, terrific. The word of a senile old has been. I am clad. Great. What am I doing in the grove? Let's get you home. Audi! Yes, sir. Come. Catch you guys later. Hey, Cuff. Speaking of Bob, how come he didn't turn into a zombie? He came right through the break with us. I'd say he was mostly break zombie already, wouldn't you? Strange how Auden seems to love Bob so much. Strange? Why? Well, I don't exactly think the world of my parents. I guess being left on your own for years doesn't hit everybody the same way. Why should it? Humans are horrendously complex creatures, after all. Olivia. Apparently knew the kid, but she just stuck with me. She had fire. And now it's been extinguished. Somebody has to pay. Let us proceed to the archives, then. It's in the upper... What's with this weird tree? Interestingly, I don't think it looks like that because of the break. This blue glow. What's that about? The essence of life distilled, if some are to be believed. Don't you think we'd better learn more about Sila before chilling? It's about Serobian. I... Actually, it's about everything. The city, too. We... We owe you our thanks. Had you not been here, who knows how many more would have suffered? I... Could have done more. Please. I know you are in pain, but you must not lose heart. The bard at the square, Wallace, do you know him? He may be a frivolous, nonsensical sort of person, but his talent is undeniable. Perhaps a tune might do you good. Truly, his music has the power to soothe the soul. <sighs> Wait, you're not telling me she's... Really? That foppish nonsense? No, no. Of course not. My feelings are not... I... I mean, of course I... Oh, never mind. His music gives me a certain courage, that's all. A sense that it may not be altogether foolish to hope for a brighter tomorrow. Well, I guess I'll have to listen harder. You plan to face Tantasila, do you not? 
Those of my line have long been her most faithful protectors. Though such a legacy is no longer one to speak of with pride. Take care. She is not to be trifled with. The dutiful sword maiden and the foppish bard, eh? What a pair. Yeah, it's like the plot of a corny romance novel. Roby and Keen, return to us at last. Who would have thought it? I'm from Janoon, you know. Same as him. Does a lot for the old civic pride, having countrymen like that, I can tell you. We cannot leave the city yet. How are we to defeat an enemy we know nothing of? So these are the archives. Catch! Whoa. What is this? And who are you? I'm the archivist. Auden tell me you were clever. How do you not know what a book is? No, I know what a book is. Uh, 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 uh. You don't look like an archivist. You don't look like a hero. And that's because I'm not. I used to be a blacksmith before. Built weapons for the very woman that raided our city. She and I were quite close. She trusted me, and I trusted her. Sorry. No matter, it was another time. She was another woman, as was I. Keep up! Is everybody in this town batshit crazy? Okay, so how do you go from a blacksmith to a librarian? Archivist! And a smart woman knows when to shift her purpose for the needs of her people. Catch! Ooh. What is this? It's the floor plan of Silas Castle. Uh, what are you, my fairy godmother? <laughs> <sighs> name's Johedi. You're the one that's planning on facing off with Sila. Well, the name's Frey, and it sounds like you don't think I'm up to the task. Tanta Sila is the strongest and most formidable of all the Tantas. She controlled the army, crushing the weak, even without the weapons that I forged for her. Crushing them with her bare hands. I'm beginning to have second thoughts about this. This batty old Harrider needs to shut her mouth. You will be doing our land a great service by killing her. Rid us of Tanta Sila, and the corruption in her realm will stop spreading. No. I doubt you'll actually succeed. Before you go, I would suggest that you learn all that you can about the Tantas. The archives, full of books about them. Definitely not my fairy godmother. They used to rule Athia, and people used to like them. Yes, although you'd never guess that now. You, 
you're here to read, you say. Oh, I, I'm sorry. It's just no one in Sipal has any interest in books these days. Can't say I envy these people. Their rulers did some super fucked up shit. I doubt many of them would disagree. Wait, it was the Tauntas who caused the break? What the hell happened to them? I think more than a few of their former subjects came to wonder the same thing. That thing we read, it was written by the first ever Tanta. And it sounds like there might still be more of them to find. Wouldn't hurt to learn more. Guess we could keep an eye out. So, the Tantas had superpowers that they used to keep Atheus safe. And the people loved them for it, worshipped them even. But then something changed. Instead of protecting the people, they started making them suffer. And then the break appeared. An admirably pithy pricey. But it doesn't make any sense. Why would they just go crazy like that? That's enough for now. Think I'm pretty clued up on the Tonta basics. Then I suggest we depart. Let's see. A study of miracles. It appears to be an in-depth analysis of what makes the Tanta's magic so powerful.
I wonder if you might learn something from it. Pick up some tips and tricks for your own magic, perhaps. Yeah, maybe. I could use the help. Oh, I meant to say, that was good, what you did for Rovian. Haven't seen Alden that happy in a long time. You two friends? She tells me things. She's been coming here ever since she could read. She told me all about you. So, which is it? Do you want to go home, or do you want to be a hero? Doesn't matter what you want now. Oh yeah? How do you figure? The people have decided to believe in you, so you better not let them down. Now clear off, I've got things to do. Huh? What's this? The sly old devil must have slipped it in there when you weren't looking. No one's doing very much, are they? I suppose there's not a lot to do. Yeah, even in the lower city, only a few of the people seemed actually busy. I suppose there's only so much work to go around. Anything else you need to do before we leave? Hurry up, if you're still not done with what you need to do here. Places for criminals to hide in a town this small? Yeah, not much in the way of crowds to slip into either. All in all, not the best place to exercise one's villainous urges. <laughs> What's the matter, Bob? Here, I, I know it was. Here, and then it disappeared. Yes, it was no small thing. Not to me, you bauble. No, certainly no trifle. So he's lost something important? Sorry, my gibberish is patchy. Yeah, seems like it. 
Guess we better help him find it. What? Why? Never know. Might have something to do with a Tirana. I suppose. Just don't forget what you're actually meant to be doing. Wonder where he lost whatever it was. Well, he did get in a bit of a scuffle with those guards. Good point. Let's head back over there and take a look. Ballard tree is something of a symbol of the city. Hey, you're one of the guards from before, right? Hmm? Oh, you're the one who was with Borden. Yeah. Uh, so Bob, I mean, Robian, he didn't drop anything when you were restraining him, did he? Not that I remember. I did see him coming this way from the upper city a little while back, though. Maybe someone he passed along the way saw something. Okay. Uh, thanks. It didn't used to be like that, you know? So I hear. He was the one who brought everyone here when the corruption swallowed Janoon. Should have been time to Sinter. But... He was the only other person she would have trusted to do it. Now look at him. Anyway, listen to me, talking your ear off. I'm sure you've got more important things to do. Here. Take this. Thanks for bringing him back to us. Uh, sure. People sure love Bob, huh? Yes, although I still struggle to picture the old him. Buildings here are something else. Yes, I believe it's where the great and the good of Sepulian society live. You looking for something? Hi. You didn't see Robian come this way, did you? I did, yes. He walked past a bit a while ago. Dropped this, as a matter of fact. Huh. Some kind of animal bone. Right? Yes. The one the old man was wearing. But I'm not sure it's what we're looking for. And who do we have here, then? Hey, uh, you seen Robian around? Robian? Ah, oh, Master Kane, you mean. Sorry, young lady. Oh, no worries. Thanks anyway. 
Doesn't look bad. Um, excuse me. Uh, you didn't see Robian around here, did you? Hmm. Robian Keen? Yes, he was pottering about the place not so long ago, in fact. Looking for something, if I'm not mistaken, then he seemed to have some sort of brainwave and wandered off. Rather put me in mind of the old days, I must say. He used to pace back and forth like a madman when he had something on his mind. Walked holes in many a carpet. Guess you knew him pretty well. You could say that, yes. He was something of a mentor of mine. It's a dreadful shame, him having lost his memory to the corruption, but... I hold him in the highest regard, nonetheless. Thanks for sharing. Seems the old man still commands a fair amount of respect, even now. Yeah, guess he's given a lot for these people. Buildings around here look a little shabby. Maybe we could help fix things up. I'd imagine it's more a lack of materials than a lack of will. Wood, in particular. Yeah, I guess it must be hard finding more if you can't leave the city. Um, excuse me, miss? You know the funny old man, don't you? The... Oh, you mean Bob? He dropped this earlier and walked off without noticing. Oh, nice. I've been looking for this, I think. Thanks. This book is mad old. Can barely even make out the words. Luckily, the words are none of our concern. Can we hurry up and get it back to him? Hey, Bob. The thing you were looking for. It was this book, right? Hmm. Seemingly not. For real? I went all over to find this thing. Father, I... Oh, sorry. Were you two in the middle or something? No, all good. I found this when I was tidying up. A bookmark? I made it for him when I was little. I drew us all on it. Father, mother, and there's me. You found it at last. My heart, my past, found it. Thank you, Order, my dear, darling girl. Better leave him to it. Bob 
never stop thinking about Auden that whole time, huh? I pity to think that he might still forget her after all he's been through. <laughs>